Here on Earth, the density of steel is 490 pounds per cubic foot. Steel is mostly composed of iron and carbon. It contains small amounts of manganese and even smaller amounts of silicon, phosphorus, oxygen, sulfur, and other elements. God, I have another question. Yes, Emma? What is above the rain mist in the sky? Avoid the old village because of the sickness. You must always, always avoid the old village. But of the hundred girls and thirty boys that live on Earth, none have ever been sick. Avoid the old village. You must always, always avoid the old village. is hiding something and the answer to that something is somewhere in the ruins of this village if I don't find it today I'll keep on looking till I do
Earthmen everywhere come to Rythar, the beautiful green planet of the Syrian system. There you can have all the luxuries of Earth without any of the crowding. Live in a primeval paradise and discover your dreams. What is Rythar and why would anyone want to leave my beautiful planet Earth?
I'm not living on Earth. I'm living on this planet called Rythar. Everything God has told us is a lie. A lie! What is a planet? The word has not meaning. But, but that's not true. God does not lie. Only men lie. Then you're not God. You're just... You're just a man. All sediment occupants assemble right now in the main courtyard. Please get up as quickly as you can and assemble outside in the main courtyard. Carly, how? 
Howard. Jenny Welsh. Janet Hansen. Emma Dante. All the occupants of the settlement have been accounted for. Too late. I already know your secret. But don't worry, it'll be our secret. Ours alone. Just you.
Josh has taken Yuki as a wife. But isn't Josh already with Dinah? Because of the 30 men to 70 women ratio, some couples were doubling up. I was going to be his second wife, but now... <laughs> Don't worry, you're too lovely to be alone. You'll find someone.
It's very important that all the soil samples are packed and ready to go by 5.45 p.m. When does the God Transport take off? It leaves at 6 p.m. As long as all the daily ore shipments are aboard, God is happy. Is there a night shipment as well? No. The transport leaves every evening and returns each morning. Are you sure you want to do this? It's a boring job. It's much easier and more fun to collect ore samples. And who knows, you might meet a guy who wants another wife. That will never happen here. No, no, it's okay. This is, this is right for me. You're sure now? No, no, it's okay. I want to be closer to God. Great. Gets me off the hook. Be in tomorrow, first thing, and you're on your own. If you have any questions, just let me know.
God, please don't punish me. Please. My dear young lady, this is the men's ward. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. You must be a new patient. I'd better find my own ward. I hadn't heard they were bringing in new patients today. I'll see you in the sunroom, and you'll tell me all the news. Everything they're doing back on Earth. I haven't been there in a year.
A woman here? Does God already have a mate? When are you leaving, Dick? In about 40 minutes, they're sending an auto pickup. Oh, no. Now, don't start worrying. They've got the bugs out of it by this time. The auto pickups are entirely trustworthy. Sure, that's what the Army says. In theory, they should be even more reliable then. I wish you'd wait for the hospital shuttle. And miss the chance to address Congress this year? We've worked too long for this. I don't want to muff it now. We've all the statistical proof we need, even to convince those pinch penny halfwits. During the past eight years, we've handled more than a thousand cases up here. On Earth, they were pronounced incurable. We sent better than 80% back in good health after an average stay of 14 months. No medical man has ever questioned the efficiency of cosmic radiation and a reduced atmospheric gravity, Dick. It's just our so-called statesmen always yapping about the budget. But this time, we have the cost. Oh, I didn't know that. We've kept it under wraps so the politicians wouldn't cut our appropriations. It isn't right for them not to send a piloted shuttle after you, Dick. It isn't dignified. You're our assistant medical director. This is not God's house. This is a hospital for Earthmen. And it's paid for by the ore we send up from Rythar. In a way, Rythar is being enslaved and exploited by Earth. Why weren't we told the truth? I must return to Rythar and tell the others what I've discovered. I am a beautiful young woman. Certainly more attractive than the earth women I've seen here. I have nothing, nothing to fear from them. Signed by the Commander in Charge, Guardian Station, addressed to the Congress of the World Government. On Rythar, we have soil samples taken from an area covering 10,000 square miles. We find nothing that could be remotely harmful to human life. Those are the samples God is always asking for. Are they planning to set up a hospital on Rythar? I don't like the idea of sick, discarded Earthmen overrunning my beautiful home planet. 
The original Rythar colony survived a year. The sickness developed only after the first harvest of Rytharian-grown food. The botanical cycle of Rythar must be examined. We shall have to send survey teams to the surface. That will require much larger appropriations. The metal immunization suits, which must, of course, be destroyed after each expedition. What could this mean? I must have come to the wrong room. Indeed. Everyone knows this is Command Headquarters. Who are you? My name is Imidante. I came up in the God Transport from Rythar. Rythar? Why is she afraid? If they all react like that, they won't let me leave.
from Rythar, a woman from Rythar, and we blasted the communication center. We've no way of sending the warning back to Earth. You're still all right, Dick. She hasn't been here long enough to... We don't know that. We don't know how it spreads or how quickly. We can't take the chance. Then... Then we've no choice. None. These have been standing emergency orders for 20 years. We've always faced the possibility that one of them would escape. If we'd been allowed to use a different policy of education... Uh, but the politicians wouldn't permit that. The station has to be destroyed. And we must die with it. Couldn't we wait and make sure? It works too fast. None of us would be able to do the job afterward.
He said they would destroy the station because I was aboard? What possible harm could I do to them? It just made no sense. What was wrong with them? Colonies and other solar systems have been Earth's most effective strategy for overpopulation. This is the foundation. Finding the planet Rythar in the Syrian system. Rythar is one of a score of colonies established by Earth. The atmosphere and gravity of Rythar duplicate that of Earth. The government of Earth originally planned a migration of 10 million persons. But after 12 months, the survey colony was destroyed by an infection, which has never been identified. It is called simply the sickness. The origin of this plague is unknown. No adult in the colony survived. Children born on Rytha are themselves immune, but are carriers of the sickness. The first rescue team sent to save them died within eight hours. No human being, aside from these native-born children, has ever survived the sickness. That's why they destroyed themselves. It wasn't madness, but the courage of the few to save their civilization from the sickness. The sickness that I carry.
To help the children of Rythar, scientists built the Guardian Space Station. Sealed in metal immunization suits, volunteers had descended to the plague world and reared the surviving children of the colonists until they were old enough to look out for themselves. The answer house has been set up as an instructional device. As nearly as possible, the scientists in charge attempted to create a normal situation for the plague carriers. They could never be allowed to leave Rythar, but when they matured enough to know the truth, Rythar could be integrated into the colonial system. If they had only told us the truth, I would not be a poison arrow pointed at the heart of civilization. are not Dr. Dick Jamison of the Guardian Space Station. Please identify yourself and your business on the Earth to Guardian Station Auto Transport. Please identify yourself or you will be fined. Failure to identify yourself before landing on U.S. soil can incur a penalty of 1K credits. Please identify yourself immediately or you will be so charged. Can I speak to someone? Identify yourself immediately. Please, I want to speak to someone. It's very important. Identify yourself or you will be charged. Direct human relations here, miss. How can I help you? 
It's very important that I speak to someone in authority. I have something very important, a matter of life and death. Yes, Miss. Well, I can help you. No, no, you can't. You have to let me talk to someone in charge before I land. This is a matter of life and death. It will kill everyone. Very well, Miss. I'll get you someone in charge. Good afternoon, young lady. I'm Congressional Planetary Senator Marshall Allen Breeson. Please, let me help you. I'm Emma Dante. I'm one of the surviving children from the planet Rythar. I carry the sickness that will kill you and everyone on Earth. Listen to me for two minutes before you blast the ship. I rode the God Transport up to the Guardian Station because I had to know what was above the rain mist. In the answer house, you would not tell us. Now I understand why. We were children. You, you were waiting for us to mature. And that's the mistake you made. That blindness nearly destroyed your civilization. You will have to build another guardian station. This time, don't hide anything from us because we're children. The truth makes us mature, not illusions or taboos. It's easier to face a fact than to have to give up a dream we've been taught to believe. Tell your kids the truth when they ask for it. Tell us, please. We can adjust to it. We're just as human as you are. I'm ready. Send up your warships. Just destroy me. Quickly, you must not let me land!
Why don't you do something? What are you waiting for? Emma, I understand. Please allow me to explain. For ten years, Dr. Jameson has been telling us from the Guardian Station that we should adopt a different educational policy towards Rythar. Your scare broadcast was clever, but we're used to Jameson's tricks. He'll be removed from office for this, if I have anything to say about it. You didn't believe me? Of course not. If a plague carrier escaped from Rythar, we would have heard about it long before this. The trouble with you scientists is you don't grant the rest of us any common sense. And Jameson's the worst of the lot. He's always contended that the sociologists should determine our Rytherian policy, not the elected representatives of the people. Let's have no more dramatics, please. You don't know how fortunate you are, young lady. If the politicians were as addle-witted as you scientists claim we are, we might have believed that nonsense and blasted your ship out of the sky. You scientists have to give up the notion that you're our guardians. We're quite able to look out for ourselves.